This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, a battery planner, stolen by Camp Power and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We are home getting ready for a 1000 km challenge with BMW iX2. This is X Drive 30. So, wait, I just noticed it has illuminated grill. And you know what else is illuminated? The M logos here. What the heck? <laughs> okay, anyway. We're gonna do a 1000 km challenge with this car. It is like, uh, well, I was about to say the, the iX1's big brother, but I'm not sure if it is really, because it's lower and longer. So this should be more efficient. It has better driving dynamics in my opinion. So the iX1 did it in 10 hours and th uh, 50 minutes. I expect us to finish in 10 hours and 30 minutes. And you know what? Well, I have to show you down here. We have the OBD CX adapter, and then it works with a battery planner. At least I use the BMW iX1 profile, and I navigated to uh, at the endpoint, which is uh, uh, Holland Sosen, and then the car. I mean, sorry, not the car. <laughs> a battery planner picks the stops for me, and this is premium, so it also knows about the weather. And it has been raining a lot lately. So uh, at least it wants me to stop at Udvalla Supercharger Tesla. Hmm. Okay, I I'll see about that. I have input that I'll be driving uh, the speed limit plus VAT. But look here, we now have steady charge, voltage, power, battery temp. Huh? Nice battery capacity also. Yeah, I have some input to a better plan on how to improve this. What the variables I want to see. But okay, so we're gonna start now in nine minutes. We will do the final preparation. Start at one, start at two at night. And the struggle now is that it is by the end of July. And you see here, we can see live status. Let me see, how do you do that? Uh, the ball, huh? Wait, I'm not sure how I do this. But anyway, if you zoom in here, you can see live status on the chargers. And I saw earlier today, it was Friday, uh, rather actually yesterday, that many of the supercharger and the Ionity and many of the sites, they were just overrun. They were red. Wait, no, no, this road is fixed now. Cheat! Okay, this is because of the open street map, map that uh, Abed Ruplan uses. He doesn't know about the road that is open. But um, I saw that we had massive Ladestau now in the late July. You see, now at night there is no Ladestau, so that's going to be another challenge. We have to finish this before we get in too many Ladestau. Oh, shit! We are on the move. We actually started at 155. Yeah, no, we don't have to wait for a round number. We have master reductions anyway. But I'm surprised that at 155 at night we have so much traffic. Oh, shit. Okay, let's hope it gets better during the night at least. So uh, this is weird. When I navigated to uh, Hoogstorp, I saw initially that the car estimated I would arrive at 28% or something, but now it's gone. I don't know where. And that, that is quite crucial information, how many percent we will arrive with. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, f I forgot. It is in the instrument cluster, maybe. Ah. Okay, let me see. If I go here, and then I go here, and then I switch to... Uh, uh, no, wait, huh? Here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this view, I forgot. This view will show me how many percent I will arrive with. Wait, if I could just click on it. There, there, there. 28%. Uh, a better route planner uh, would assume that I will arrive with at least 10 or 15%. Seems like the car is being a bit optimistic here. Hmm. And because this is premium BMW, we have nice interior lights. Yeah, some lights here also. And the foot well. And as I showed before, the illuminated, illuminated M. It is actually also illuminated now with the driving. Uh, in the headlight test, I wasn't sure whether I had uh, adaptive headlights or not, or matrix light. We can see that we have matrix light. Wait, wait, boom, there, yes. Man, uh, I need to make this a uh, better routine that uh, I always check if I have matrix light or not. Not just take the regular uh, bush route that I do. So yeah, these lights, they are awesome. And also now, also on the motorway here, they shine like nice and strong, strong and wide. Uh, at least I haven't been flashed that yet. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see once the road uh, straightens out more around Valberg how it goes there. 
but so far really impressive the headlights at least and also consumption yeah we are now at hox toy supercharger v3 supercharging getting 125 kilowatt maximum speed oh yeah but this is weird because um when i look on uh, a bit root planner it reports that's 45 kilowatt what state of charge goes up you see voltage is 302 hmm uh, but that means that the current is over 400 and you know v2 supercharger supports uh, around 370 so it means that if i go to a v2 supercharger i won't get 125 kilowatt i might get around 110 so i should avoid v2 supercharger then stick with only ionity and some other stuff but okay so uh, so far so good yeah um next stop is going to be varberg i pre-selected because i know that that's what where i should stop at but let's see um Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, uh, I want to just do it manual here. You know, I could probably search for it, but do it like this, this. Okay, well, when, when do they? Uh, where, when do they show up? What? Where are the the chargers? Uh. Oh, I was in that other split view. Okay, that's kind of dummy. Okay, here is that ionity. Yeah. Okay, they don't show you what it is, but okay, start. Yeah, I'm gonna go there. All right, yeah, all right. Now we just have to charge for a while. Hey, what the heck? Okay, we are still receiving 125 kilowatt. Uh, nice and flat for now. I don't remember how many percent it will go to, but uh, okay, a bit root planner, guys. If you guys see this, this is a bug. Okay, state of charge goes up, voltage is probably correct, battery temperature is probably correct, but the power is incorrect. <laughs> I don't know what the heck is going on here. It must be a bug. Listen, door closing sound. Oh yeah, that is the sound of premium electro auto. So, you know, I purposely drove at night now to avoid Ladestar. And you see, it's four at night on a Saturday. And we now have a Tesla Model X traveling here, probably with family and a, and a caravan. So, you know, I can imagine how it is if they travel in the daytime. There'd be not enough stalls, they have to unhitch and stuff, so they actually chose to travel at night. <laughs> the struggle is real. But look at this, I'm gonna show you the car. It looks pretty cool, right? Huh? It, it's not that big and fat. I like the back of it. Yeah. So it has this, uh, I'm not sure what kind of, yeah, is this a little bit like, uh, like, um, how, wait, wait the, those taillights, is this, uh, um don't remember is it ford is a ford mustang look alike or what the heck is it <laughs> okay but um yeah so let me show you now what's going on the throttling i mean the throttling has started slightly but we have nice and flat curve look at that even at 32 33 percent we're taking 124 kilowatts it just throttled slightly uh, but the root plan starts showing now 75 kilowatts suddenly you can also see it up here displays it at 75 kilowatt uh, okay someone fixed that bug but it seems like it wants to go to falcon bike wait but it wants me to charge to 73 percent really and then go for falcon bike what uh but i wanted to stop at uh, ionity uh, okay I i'll figure out something uh oh yeah no i, I want to avoid falcon bike because that's v2 supercharger ah uh, they don't know. Yeah, I bet the replan was like, eh, V2 is fast enough. No, it's not fast enough. So I will stop at the bike. So that means that I don't have to go to 73%. I can maybe go to around 60%, 65% then. Okay, I brought some food today. I want to avoid gas station food because they tend to give me bad stomach. And okay, no, I'm not lactose intolerant. Uh, I, I have cheese and stuff at home I eat. It's just something about the meat, I think, that at gas stations that gives me bad stomach. So yeah, double uh, sausage penetration uh, usually becomes painful the day after. But I brought some, yeah, uh, I don't know, it's just homemade. Well, let me just put on this. I use this as a glove, but uh, it's just a nun with some eggs and some meatballs together. Mmm, uh, nice sandwich, yeah. And the drink for the day is vanilla coke. Oh man, that is so pervert. <laughs> Shit, let me see. Okay. This sound is what men likes. Oh, let me try. Mm. What the heck, man? It's probably not even real vanilla. 
They use vanillin, which is from the wood industry or some shit, you know, it's the... Uh. Alright, uh, this charging tar session, we averaged 107 kilowatts uh, before losses, so that's uh, pretty good. And then, okay, you see that the battery temperature is uh, 45 degrees Celsius. So I wonder if you have any power gate. Let me see here. Try to floor it. Ooh. Oh, full power. No power limit there. <laughs> no rapid gate, no power gate. Oh, yeah. BMW power for the win. Man, Beamer Bjorn is back. Wait, shit. Okay. Speed limit warning. You just have to, you can hold set button. There, speed limit one in this uh, decent gauge. Oh yeah, all is good. Wait, what the heck? The battery temperatures claim to be 33 degrees Celsius. No, 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 no. Um, after 15 minutes of driving from the last charger, there's no way we went from 45 degrees to uh, 33 degrees. So this is just like what's seen in car scanning with some of the BMWs is that it's actually a battery inlet, but it, it has been claimed to be a battery temp. No, so just bear that in mind if you use uh, about the root planner and uh, connect with the OBD. It's not the actual battery temperature. We are now at Stenungsund, and this is a place where the landslide happened. It's the over there. This was completely destroyed. There was supposed to be a gas station, so fast. Oh, you can see some of the remains there. Wow. Devastating. And then this landslide happened from there. It's not even that mountainous or steep. And then we just draw on the new stretch of road and now we are on the old road. So it was just a couple of hundred meters that was, was demolished, but it was on the wrong place. And we had to drive this long ass detour. Actually, right now, I bet the road planner wants me to go on that detour stretch for some reason. Uh, even the open street map that it, this is based on has been updated, but uh, it seems like I bet the road planner has not updated the map yet from an open street map. So that's a slight bummer. Because it keeps bugging me that I want to exit the main road and take the detour or some shit. We are now at Valberg, charging up. I can show you. Every time now, look at this. Oh yeah, 129 kilowatt. Okay. So um, yeah, I have to hurry. I have roughly 20 minutes of charging here. So I will show you something here. So you see, we have these charge. Okay, we have we have the circuit K chargers there, we have the chargers here. Einride? Is that Deutsch? Weibach Open Smart Charger Station. Uppet. It says here, charging base. Huh? Uh, uh, oh! Driver re- Oh, what the heck? Damn! Look at this. Whoa! This place here used to be just uh, I don't know, gravel uh, place, uh, huh? We have chem power over here now. Suddenly, 150 to 400, and, and just it's just massive. Oh wait, these might be more for trucks. Yeah, yeah. You see here, uh, but I'm not sure if passenger cars could use them or if they're gonna block them and only allow trucks to charge it because. Uh, Passenger cars, they have plenty of charging options here. So why the heck would they come here, right? Chem power, okay. Yeah, you know the stuff, chem power, as we know it, can we? Okay, it might not be operational yet, okay. Okay, but uh, yeah, this seems to be quite dedicated for trucks. So they don't have to, yeah, there's plenty of space. Yeah, and then here, over here also. And there's supposed to be a lounge. What the heck is that thing? You see, it's like a container with some air conditioning on it. Wait, do they have batteries in there? Wow. So they're building some kind of lounge here also. This thing is huge, man. Valby, holy macaroni. Okay, I have to focus on the challenge now. Uh, this is very nice. I'm not at the car right now, but via the Ionti app, I can see that we are charging at 126 kilowatts still. And we are 32% and we are charged for nine minutes. That means I have another 10, 12 minutes left before I should leave. Uh, what the heck? I was charging to 62% and then suddenly charging failed. And now I had to restart again. So I lost a minute, I think. I was quite quick at reacting. Yeah, we lost a minute. So I guess we reduced one minute then. And what the heck? The car seems to bug right when the charging bugged. Suddenly it's a switch to Norwegian here. I set it to English. Uh, okay, uh, hiccup maybe? Well, okay, I'm about to leave now. I'm gonna go for 70%. The charger is kind of slow now towards the end, 76 kilowatt. Yeah, so oh, how long was it now this time? A little bit over 20 minutes then. 
Well, back on the road, now in the 120 zone, and the car is nice and quiet. And yeah, just like last time, the battery, well, actually, I'm not sure. The, the inlet is 45 degrees, roughly. You can guess that the battery might be at 45 degrees. So very nice and consistent charging curve. Oh, we entered the noisy uh, asphalt, like the noisy um, uh, concrete surface at uh, Falkenberg. Uh, left lane is slightly better, smoother because the trucks don't hammer here. But uh, yeah, I mean it's not that super noisy, uh, not as noisy as a Polestar 2 or a Tesla, but not as quiet as some of the German, other German cars, the more premium German cars. We are now at Harmstad, charging up. Uh, still not too busy yet, but it will be busier. <laughs> so yeah, Saturday morning, which means that the stores will be open. Yeah, like like this eventually so um so far so good i'm uh well not surprised but at least i have confirmed that this car is not that thirsty so i'm still trying to figure out what it looks like in the fossil world is it's not an suv right it's some kind of gt like i mentioned before all right we see on the wind turbines that we have headwind right now and then at this high speed stretch I'm averaging 302 watt hour per kilometer. Ooh. Yeah, thumbs up to all the fingerprints on the screen. <laughs> Shit. But this is always a nice sight. Oh yeah. Some uh, renewable energy being uh, generated. All right, we're now charging at Vibike, getting 100, yeah, whatever. Uh, you guys have seen this before. But I'm at the, now at the supercharger. And now, uh, chill time. All right, we are 66%, we're almost good to go. And that took only 17 minutes because we started at over 20%. But um, yeah, so you see, the plan is that I want to go to Hoogstorp, the same we visited earlier. And one rare thing with this car and maybe some other cars is that once you leave the car and come back, then it forgot about the navigation. But if you click here, it will ask you, do you want to resume? Yes, but why do we even stop that? I mean, if I navigate there, and even if I leave the car, I want to still go there, even if I leave the car and come back and the car fires up again. So, all right, you see, well, I, initially I saw how many percent, it was 18% at the arrival. And then um, if I look here, okay, a bit Rupan expects that I will arrive with 13%. So, okay, I think we have enough now. Let's go. Let me check something here. If I go to my modes, and then switch to sport okay and then i go here oh yeah and then i can swipe down oh the lag okay and then i go to live vehicle and then i switch content to adaptive content then suddenly we see the torque and horsepower number so we're supposed to have 313 horsepower right? let me test them do we have it with hot battery mm. oh 292 wait oh there's a slight power limit seems like uh oh power gates 295 okay that's close enough close enough but you see it didn't hit the top maybe i should test again in around five ten minutes okay been driving for almost 15 minutes now since we start uh, we charged so. though <clears throat> i uh, still don't get it how am i supposed to get it huh i don't get it huh wait wait wait, wait. how can we get it oh, what is that 100 degrees celsius Oh, in the motor okay okay that's fine but i have 56 percent battery am i not supposed to get full power huh what we are back at hoax supercharger yeah still not overrun yet okay that's good and um, next stop is going to be 120 kilometers away it is at inspiria science center where the v3 supercharger is so um yeah how much do i need i have 22 percent i came with 14 percent or 13. um let me see. Oh, what the heck? No, 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 no. What the heck? The car is showing me this. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, no, not the car. Uh, I better replan it because we have too low juice. I have to charge more before we can see some estimation. But okay, I'll show you that now that we have somewhat busy times. See, there's, I mean, it, it's not filling up yet, but uh, I want to be a good boy. And I want to take the stall like this because a Tesla would be faced this direction. And then, so if I park like wrong, I could, for example, park here and use the wrong side. Then I block for Teslas to use it. I mean, it's just, I mean, it, it's not a big deal, but it's like A, B, C. 
always be considerate. Okay, that was second to last charging stop. And uh, yeah, we charged a bit, uh, not too high. So average speed was good, 108 kilowatt. Yeah. And then now it's past 10 in the morning on a Saturday morning. So the traffic has increased a lot. This is way more than normal. So let's hope we don't get stuck behind any left lane huggers. So yeah, I better plan an estimate that we will arrive with 16% now. Hmm. All right, let's see then. Oh yeah, here we go, traffic, uh-oh. Uh, the truck just overtook another truck and then we have some slow pokes. Yeah, well, well, well. We are now at Xperia. This is the last charging stop. We are at Supercharger V3, but there is a problem. There is a problem. Not something wrong with the car. It works as designed. Charging power reduced. Uh, charging power temporarily reduced to protect high voltage battery. Full DC charge power available again after DC charging pause for up to two days. What the heck, man? Wait, wait, wait. I've seen this before in the BMW i5. The i4 has the same thing. It's like punishment point, like a Toyota. But this is no Toyota. It's premium electro auto from BMW and it throttles. Okay, it hasn't throttled yet, but we will see soon enough. <gasps> Oh shit, fortunately this is the last charging stop. <laughs> I just need to get to around 50%. Okay, back in the car and according to previous uh, perfect charging session, non-throttle session, at 51% we should get close to 90 kilowatts. So we only have a slight throttle and you see this took only 30, uh, 14 minutes and we are pretty much good to go. Maybe yeah, a couple of more percent and then we could just go home. Let's see, what is the car saying now? Okay, uh, if I click here, wait, what was the estimation here? Eh? What? Right there. Yeah. I bet Rupan claims we can make it there with 12%. All right, let's go. This is it, the final run. Okay, time. We have to take the current time up here, minus two hours. So we are at nine hours and 20 minutes. And we have to drive another uh, 120 ish kilometers because this car, I found out, over ports by 2%, 0.7%, uh, so we have to count to 1,007. All right, the heat is on. How fast can we do it? Man, the campers are real. They're slow poking. It's 110 zone, and especially in the tunnel we were in just now, they were poking at 90 kilometers per hour. So we are losing time here. It could be as much as five minutes in total. Because you're losing 10 seconds here, 10 seconds there, and over time that becomes significant. So I might round down to the next five minutes then. Okay, I'm gonna try to do the countdown now. In Deutsch, 9991, 1, no, wait, 999, 3, oh, it's a bit skipped there, 999, 5. No, I skipped here, oh man, I suck. <laughs> What is that? 9996? 9997? 9998? 9999? 9000 times 1230 minus 12. Okay, uh, it became 10 hours and 25 minutes. Oh, but this is where we end up here past, uh, uh, past, who was that? The, huh? We're not supposed to end over here. Um, let me show you on the map. So you see that, if I zoom in a bit, we're supposed to na -na 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 roughly here. So maybe my error correction thingy was a bit off. Okay, whatever. But 10, 25. Oh yeah, that was legit. And then what was the consumption again? 239, oh yeah. We are now at Ayonti, charging up. Let me see. We get this notification here, charge power reduced and then it disappears and then we still see it here. So we are connected to powerful enough charger. Oh. Powerful enough charger, this is 350 kilowatt hour per hour. Oh, we still get 125 kilowatt. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Toyota be set for x go home. I mean, is it really throttling? You know, the, the i4, that was quite brutal throttling. It went from 200 kilowatt to only 100 kilowatt. And then at 50%, it throttled to 50 kilowatt. You know, it was like worse than half of the charging speed you're supposed to get. Here, it's like, oh, you get, you get throttle. Uh, well, where's the throttle? I see no throttle. <laughs> it's still fine. Okay, let's charge for a bit and see what happens. 
me look here. I'm looking at my own data. IX1 at 32% was taking 115 kilowatt. This is non-throttle. I'm getting 122 kilowatt now at 32%. Huh? Uh, uh, we are definitely not throttled yet. <laughs> Maybe you have to wait until 50% then. Okay, slight throttling. At 47%, we're supposed to have 94 kilowatt. We have 88 kilowatt. But I mean, we go to 50% without any throttling, uh, basically. So this is really no problem. The problem was the message that popped up that kind of scared people. All right, we're back home. So that was a nice and comfortable run. I like this car. I didn't tell you during the trip, but it's a nice ride. You see, we have it side by side with the Model Y. They're kind of similar-ish in size, well, except for that the Model Y is a bit bigger, has more space. But other than that, you know, it, it doesn't ride like a boat. It rides more like a sedan-ish, similar to Tesla, actually. But the comfort here, the Hummer Carlin speakers, you know, the, the head of display, it has so much cool features. Okay, it's a bit expensive. I think it's even more expensive than Model Y Performance we have over there. But and then when it comes to time, okay, you can see here that it was 1020. Well, I haven't input this yet, but just scrolling through to see that 1025. I don't know what the heck happened to the Mach E. Why the heck did it need the 1025? It was a long range, even. I don't get this. Um, and the consumption wasn't that bad. And then Model 3 Highland, okay, that was done in extreme cold weather. But uh, 10.25 is actually quite legit time. You see, even beating iX3, but that was, okay, winter. And then matching some MAB cars. So actually, this, this, this BMW iX2 has not that big battery, similar to Kona or maybe some of the other yeah, MEB cars, but it actually charges pretty fast, nice and flat charging curve. And even when it throttles, it's still okay. <laughs> So, I mean, uh, in a way, the 1000 kilometer challenge, um, as long as you get a time that is close to one uh, to 10 hours and not like, say, 12, 13 hours, then it's fine, you know. You don't have to go for a Tesla that uh, does it in nine and a half something. You can get this in 10 hours and still you arrive with style, you arrive with comfort, you arrive with illuminated grill. Well, it's... Okay, it's not illuminated now, but I mean, at night it will illuminate, you know. It's like getting out, get out of the way, yeah. So, I mean, I'm not going to totally write off the car. It's maybe not the best performing car in the one... Th what the heck is it doing? 1,000 kilometer challenge, but still, I think it's still a nice car. And it was a pleasant drive to go this 1,000 kilometer challenge. I think that is what matters. So that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.